has been repeated time and time again that this era of professional football is considered a passing league. So the value of defensive players has increased by the season. By comparison, there were only three cornerbacks to make double-digit salaries in, in 2008. Today, cornerbacks are viewed differently. Now every team has placed an emphasis on having a quality cornerback tandem. So let's turn the focus on the top cornerback duos in the NFL today. Honorable mention cornerbacks. Xavier Rhodes and Trey Waynes, Minnesota Vikings. The team's number one corner, Xavier Rhodes, has already established himself as one of the better corners in the NFC, if not the league. Rhodes is coming off his first Pro Bowl season, and according to Pro Football Focus, Waynes has the potential to be the better of the two as a combination. They are one solid season from Waynes to being an elite tandem. Brent Grimes and Vernon Hargraves III, Tampa Buccaneers. The veteran and Brent Grimes give this duo a tremendous boost. Not to say that Hargraves III is a liability because the second year cornerback made a few strides during his rookie 2016 season. Grimes missed the Pro Bowl this past season for the first time since 2012, but he still had an outstanding season with 51 tackles, 4 interceptions, and 24 pass breakups. Top 6 Cornerback Duos Number 6 Desmond Trufant and Robert Alford, Atlanta Falcons The Falcons have themselves arguably the most underrated cornerback in the game today. Out of all cornerbacks who played at least 500 snaps, Trufant was the only corner to not miss a tackle. In Alford, his play improved dramatically after Trufant suffered a season-ending injury in Week 9. Alford is coming off what was possibly his best season as a pro and now the Falcons get the return of a dangerous corner in true font. A nice combination of speed and instincts, the quarterback tandem is on a cusp of the top five. Number five, Malcolm Butler and Stephon Gilmore, New England Patriots. Once again, the man they called Bill has assembled a quality set of starting cornerbacks. Gilmore has given a five-year $65 million deal of this offseason even though he had a subpar 2016 season. Butler, however, is coming off a career year with four interceptions and 17 pass breakups. The ongoing rumors during the offseason pertaining Butler being shipped out of town are now laid to rest as the duo looks to lead a young athletic defense. Number 4 Casey Hayward and Jason Ferret, Los Angeles Chargers Probably the most unheralded cornerback tandem on this list, the team of Hayward and Verrett are more skilled than you think. It was Hayward who led the league in interceptions while on his way to a Pro Bowl season. Verrett was a Pro Bowler in 2015, in just his second season after posting 47 tackles, 12 breakups, and 3 interceptions. The tandem took a slight hit with Verrett missing 12 games due to a torn ACL, but when healthy, this 1-2 punch gives the Chargers a jolt in the secondary. Number 3, Janoris Jenkins and Dominique Rogers Cromarty, New York Giants. Many were against the Giants signing Jenkins during the free agency period last season, but it paid off in a major way for the Giants defense that was a third in the league in opponents completion percentage at 58.6%. Jenkins allowed a 54.8 passer rating, while Rogers Cromarty was second in the league with 6 interceptions and 21 pass breakups his most since 2009. Number two, Jalen Ramsey and AJ Boye, Jacksonville Jaguars. For a duo that has not yet to play a game together, the combination out of Jacksonville has many anticipating a big season. Ramsey had a highly impressive rookie season where he allowed 53.3 completion percentage on 90 targets. Boye, meanwhile, allowed 47.9 completion percentage and parlayed an outstanding 2016 season into a big five-year $67.5 million deal. The Jaguars may have an incredible shutdown tandem on their hands. Number 1. Alib Talib and Chris Harris, Denver Broncos. The completion of the best duo in the NFL helped the Broncos reach number 1 in the league in passing yards allowed. Receiving touchdowns allowed 13 and opponent's completion percentage, 55.4%. Harris is coming off his straight third Pro Bowl season and posted 57 tackles, 11 breakups, and just allowed 34 catches for 337 yards off the season. 
On the other side, Tlaib did not allow a touchdown and a 53.3 passer rating. This pair of corners are at the top of the totem pole in the league and have been for a while. You're listening to Fox Sports, 1340 AM.